Hello, my name is Lee from Seoul, South Korea, and I'm 14 years old right now. I'm happy that I can present you one of my project Cosmos. I got inspiration of this project from the book Cosmos by Carl Sagan. There is common point between architecture and astronomy. Maybe it's what all humans have. What they have in common is the characteristic that we continue to push our limits, and we call it the desire of knowledge. You see, the left image is the Tower of Babel, and the right is telescope design, which made by William Herschel. In the 1500s BC, the ancient Babylonians wanted to reach the tip of the sky, so they built the Babel Tower. After Copernicus claimed the theory of geology in the 16th century, Galileo developed a telescope in the 17th century to observe the stars of the solar system. We cannot find both projects now, but we can clearly see what was the main purpose for these projects. We wanted to go higher and higher, see more and more, want to know how it feels to be as God as we do today. So here's our main character, Cosmos. The design of the tower is simple and beautiful. If you look at the tower's lower half, there is woman's lower body, and an upper half, there is eye-shaped structure and complicated things that covers the building. Cosmos is a project that presents the mysteries of humanity and the great universe in architectural design. The symbolism of the design is also beauty of the cosmos, but there are many special functions it has. We're going to discover everything on this project from now on. First of all, let me explain you with the basic information of this project, location and scale of it. Cosmos is located at 90 degrees north latitude, which is top of the earth, and it is in the center of artificial island. Island equipped with all facilities for people to live in, and there are airports and military bases, which is just a small country at the top of the earth. But you know, since I am the only person who made this project all, I couldn't design island project either, so from now on, I'll just focus on the main tower. As I mentioned earlier, Cosmos is an architectural expression of the beauty of the universe that we know, see, and feel so far with our eyes. At the same time, it is an important element of space exploration that allows us to learn more about the universe and develop mankind. This multi-purpose skyscraper with an attitude about 2.2 km and 520 stories above sea level can be seen as an astronomical new city with eco-friendly generators, ultra-high performance telescopes, rocket launchers and tourist facilities in 21st century. So, let's move us to inside of this megatall building. As you can see in the cross-section diagram, each floor of the upper layer of Cosmos is divided into a total of four sections based on the core and buttress walls. So, if you look at the usage diagram, the usage is not divided by the floor, and there is at least one or more usage per floor irregularly. As you can see, Project Cosmos is a huge vertical city that pursues the architectural and scientific development of mankind, but at the same time, it'll contribute greatly to the development of space exploration. In the special part of upper half, there are several large atrium in certain parts of the building, which make rockets and pass them through transport rails to spin launch at the top of the building. You can see its usage is blue. Thanks to this simple circulation, the cost and time of making and delivering rockets can be greatly reduced. I guess this would be the most unique part of this project, the structure. Cosmos is an ultra-high-rise building that humans have dreamed of well over 2 km high. In order to make such a mega-sized work into a reality, vast evolution of technology will be required. I've developed a way out of this technical limitation. I'll explain it from now on. The spine-shaped core is the same structure as the human spine, not in shape of a single column, and it is divided into 33 bars. It distributes the building's load toward the core to 33 and supporting the core by buttress walls around it. Laniakea is a structure and generator inspired by supercluster Laniakea, surrounding a building from the southern to northern sides of Cosmos. Each line can be moved and rotated based on internal thin axis. What line means on here is if you see Laniakea, it consists of about 500 long curved pipes. So basically, a line means a pipe of it. These two structures described above protect cosmos from the wind lateral forces. 
The core behind the building holds the shape of the building and the Iranian Kia automatically moves the center of gravity to the opposite side of the wind depending on the strength and direction of it. In other words, no matter what factor caused the building shape horizontally, it will return by the center of the gravity. The Lania Kia consists of approximately 500 miles with a maximum length of about 1,400 meters. This makes it possible to resist the wind more precisely and this beautiful structure can be seen as a 500,000 ton damper outside the building. We can take Michael Jackson's smooth criminal dance for an example. This is his image, just quick drawing for this structure and concept. To keep standing, he nails his shoes to his heels and tilts his arms back, leaving his center of gravity behind. In other words, if cosmos is compared to our body, we can compare the arm to the Laniakia structure and the force to tilt the body to the wind. It's also a concept that I'm still working on, but I can liken the soles of his nailed shoes to an artificial island under the building. The lower floor of the building connected to the artificial island is fixed by the pressure difference between the outside and under the sea. Alright, so this was the content for the first concept board. The second board talks about the function of space exploration and the symbolic design. If I have a chance at the Chicago conference, I'll also present the details of the second board. Uh, thank you for listening to my presentation and see you.